He who have an ear to hear, let him hear. Right. Today's lesson is to be born again. And how are we born again? All right. We must, of course, put off corruptible seed. Right. We can't have the seed of corruption. We have to put on the incorruptible seed to be born through an incorruptible seed. Okay. The corruptible seed is the flesh. The incorruptible seed is the Holy Spirit. And when we do that, right, we are born again. We have to understand the seed that we're talking about is the word of God. Jesus Christ explained that in his parable, that the seed is the word of God. So we know that, right? So the incorruptible seed would be the word of God. The corruptible seed is the seed that we had on before we were born again. Before everything that we did was corruptible. We did things to corruption, right? We lied. We were, you know, we were envious. We had hatred and all of that stuff. All that stuff is corruptible. And we also believed in our ancestors, saying that we came from this man and that man. That's all corruptible. That stuff is going to be destroyed. The incorruptible seed is the Holy Spirit, the Word of God. That's what we put on. Okay? When we, uh, put these things off, when we deny the flesh, we become sons of God. And that's why Jesus is a son of God. Because the thing is, his flesh, it, it did not come from a man. It came from God. Okay? His seed came from God. It did not come from Joseph. Joseph was his stepdad. Now, yes, he was of the tribe of Judah, but that was through Mary. Mary is from the tribe of Judah. Joseph did not beget Jesus Christ. Joseph was a spouse to Mary who had Jesus Christ, right? So understand that uh, the actual lineage did not go through Solomon. It went through David's son, Nathan. And this is a whole other lesson that I can teach. If anybody desire to hear it, it's pretty deep, but, you know, that's why I'm not going to teach it today because it's all about being born again, all right? So, when we're born again, right, we, God gave birth to Jesus Christ, right? No man gave birth to Jesus Christ, right? God gave birth to Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ gave birth to us, and that's why we are born again, right? Because we put on his spirit, and when we put on the spirit of Jesus, we put on the spirit of God, all right? The thing is, those of us who become born again, we can't sin anymore because we don't have any more of that seed of corruption. So we put off all that stuff, all that stuff, worried about where we're from, looking up our ancestries and all that stuff. We put it all off because we are born of God. And that is our seed. That is the incorruptible seed, man. So ask yourself, who are you born from? Are you born from man or are you born from God? Figure it out, my brother. God bless you. Stay up.